My parents are both social workers and I did art, drama and music at school so I guess having both of those things be really important to me at the same time. The kind of average dinner table conversation could span anything from, hey dad, what's suicide? Right through to, um, well I painted this picture today of the future that I want for myself. How do I make that happen? So it was, there was also always a lot of imagination in the house but also um, I've always been a deep questioner, I suppose, and I've always been interested in our ability to shape the world that we that we live in and um, bring different languages and different conversations together. I do work in local authority spaces, artist-led spaces, business environments, academic environments. Lots of people are aiming for the same things because we're all humans, but the languages we use to communicate those are often different. So if I can act as some kind of translator, that fuels what I do, without a doubt. Happy and healthy people and practices. I mean, that's not a tagline that I walk around with, but if there is, there's no point in making progress that we can't sustain because it hurts us to do it. And there's no point in making progress using systems that make less of people once those things are in progress. Um, so any little thing that I can do to flick some cogs, throw in some curveballs, invite people to think differently and across one another, that's all I aim to do ever. For me, connection is everything, uh, relationships are everything, and I've come to understand slowly, and I'm still coming to understand, I don't think it's something you ever fully get your head around, but what I need as an individual to keep doing what I do, and that's good times with good people, and outlets for good conversation, and relaxation, and energising things as well as relaxing things. Um, I need a, a home base that's, that's comfortable and that's mine and just understanding basic needs and committing to maintaining them, being intentional about them. We so often don't let that happen. Yeah, I think they're becoming more and more one and the same, aren't they? And even, even if you're not intentional about that, even if that's not an active choice, the making of art and, and the choice to make art in, in the current climate is, is a political one, it's an active one. Um, so I'm always really interested in having conversations about how you're intentional about that and where else you could put that work that it said something different. Uh, look after yourself, look after the other people around you, be really kind, be more generous than you think you can be because you've got more than you think you have, so give it away and it will come back tenfold. I'm in the middle of moving house, so I'm looking forward to making a new home base for myself and being able to invite people to share that space with me and to be able to host in my own home, that's, that's really what I'm looking forward to. <laughs>